Question number two, hey Dr. Islam, how do you fix your gut microbiome after a round of antibiotics? Well, it's a very good question. We're seeing more and more information of how antibiotics really destroy your gut microbiome. They increase the amount of bad bacteria, we get rid of all the good guys, and they make it more likely for you to have a more difficult time to get back on the good part of your good gut microbiome. And all it just takes is just one course of antibiotics to do this for any number of different reasons. So here's what you need to do to replenish your gut microbiome. Number one, you need to make sure you don't take any unnecessary antibiotics. So I know antibiotics are given out like candy these days for any type of infection, whether it's a viral infection, which is one of the more common reasons why people get sick, or an actual bacterial infection, people give antibiotics. So you need to make sure that you get your antibiotics for the right reason, that you are actually treating a bacterial infection and not a viral infection. So make sure of that. Make sure you're getting this for the right indication. Number two, as soon as you stop the, the antibiotic, make sure you really incorporate fiber and really incorporate a big amount of plant-based diet by far this is going to be the most effective thing you can do to replenish your gut microbiome better than any probiotics so you'll mention i won't mention that deeply here but better than any probiotics are prebiotic fibers prebiotic fruits and a diverse array of plants and vegetables that will help to increase that garden to make it normal and to really improve your gut microbiome. Number three, same thing, incorporate as much, as much vegetable, vegetables and fruits as you can. Number four, you want to try to minimize your animal fats. We know that animal fats really increase the amount of bad bacteria, decrease the amount of good bacteria, and cause pro-inflammatory conditions inside your gut microbiome, which can lead to long-term consequences, including higher risk for Crohn's, colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, leaky gut, diarrhea, constipation, cancers, and other, other conditions outside the GI tract. Next, make sure you minimize the amount of processed foods. Processed foods have nothing good in them. They're full of fat, bad fat. They're full of sugar. They're full of bad carbohydrates. There's so many calories in them, and they don't have a lot of vitamins, minerals, or nutrients in them. And then lastly, consider adding a probiotic. Now I add this at the very end because people automatically assume that taking a probiotic is going to change everything inside your gut microbiome. And I'm sorry, there's no science to prove this and there's no science to suggest this. So consider adding a probiotic at the very end, but there's no way you can out gut your gut. You can't. So if you don't do these things to help out with your gut naturally, including changing your diet, a probiotic is not going to change that. But if you do all these things, then considering adding a probiotic towards the end to help out with your gut microbiome.